Okay. Um, we're on to the Chardonnays now. Uh, 23, which yeah. uh, it, it's wonderful to look at. Uh, these, these were bottled earlier in the year, uh, start of 24, with the goal to give them a little bit of bottle age this year um, to really settle down and show their, their nuances. Um, so we've got the, uh, the orange and the hunter comparisons. Um, there's a, you know, a goal we've been working towards for since 21, Mark, to make these sort of, you know, um, uh, but, you know, stand out and, and be individuals. You'd think, so you'd think we've got Chardonnay nailed by now. We've been working at it for years, but gee, the style's moved on, hasn't it? And the choice of barrel is so important in these styles. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we're, we're going from orange, which is uh, you know, ranging from 600 to, to 850 litres in, in altitude, to Hunter, which is around that 455. And we're talking two different um, climatic conditions as well as soil. So there should be a difference. Well, 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 the region's different, but I mean, the selection of oak is critical. Yeah. I mean, there are barrels, barrels, you know, there are different... People think, you know, oak barrels, but gee, the selection and choice of oak barrels is critical in Chardonnay, and we certainly make it differently. Talking the, the, the orange uh, region, 23, 23, again, as a cool vintage, it, well, it sort of finished nicely, but it was, was it very wet, cool to start with. Mm. But gee, gee, that wine's bright, isn't it? Super bright, yeah. It has elegance all over it, um, lovely sort of floral lift um, with that oak. Backing it up, um, <clears throat> seamless there, but the you know, lovely sort of bit of flint. Yeah, well, you know, forget that buttery thing, you know, the, the, the extraordinarily powerful oak driven thing or alcoholic thing that we once thought of at Chardonnay. This is really um, quite elegant. Um, the oak is not overblown, but it's tasty. Um, it's in there right through the wine, but not dominant. No, this, this is, this is, this is. Chardonnay as it's evolved. I mean, this is what Australia's been looking at to try and improve their their, their production and quality Chardonnays yeah. over the last Abs 15, 20 years. Absolutely. I mean, this is a fine example. It has, you know, it has that sort of malic drive and build on the mid palate, and and that flavour just continues to build as as it opens up. But the the spine of acid and the freshness of that acid is all natural, and with that tension. It's still, it's still peachy. It's still got the neck. It's got those stone fruit characters. Mm. But the wine itself is not going to blow out, become blousy, as we would say. Mm. The, you know, like a, a, a big person's blouse, you know, they're sort of sloppy. It'll be, it's still going to be tight, crunchy, flinty That's style right. of wine. Um, you know, I, I, I think we've really, we really got there to this wine. It is. That's a gut. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, over, overshadow the Hunter wine because the Hunter wine is one of the best we've made as well. It is, yeah. It's it's shown very well. I mean, it's um it has that sort of greener hues about it, but um and for uh, more lees work, more batonage, more stirring of those lees. Um, again, barrel fermented like the orange, um, but we're seeing a, a little bit more integration and noticeable oak. Um, still not over dominating those fruit flavours, but yeah, it has a spicier oak element. Um, but creamier and, and solid more well, well, the fact that we make Chardonnay, similar clones and so on, from two regions so different in New South Wales, and we're using, you know, sort of similar quality oak in both, and you can see the difference in palate structure there, where, you know, the Hunter's more broad, creamy. Yes. The, the orange is more fruit-driven and acid, crunchy, tightly wound. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've got... The difference in regions spelled out here. Mm. Um, two really good regions for for Chardonnay in good years, and we we we've nailed it with these two. I think. Yeah, there is. Uh, the Chardonnay is certainly not one that's going to fall apart in five years' time. That's going to be nice. That's going to develop in the the bottle nicely, just as the the orange, which I think, as I said, is outstanding. Yeah, I mean, very similar production techniques across both the Chardonnays. Um, but there is a difference in flavour, and and they're very expressive of that, which I think is a we're Chardonnay. getting to the goal of what we aim for. Yeah. Chardonnay's come a long way, isn't it? And adds, yeah, it's good to taste.